put the date in the diary, June 2010, for the first time a London cab on the road powered entirely by hydrogen fuel cell technology. London has a problem with emissions. You know, our air is not as clean as we want it to be, and sadly, that is cutting short the lives of quite a number of our citizens. So we think cleaning up the air in central London is absolutely key, and taxis are a big part of that. You know, anybody who's stood at the side of a London street will have seen a diesel taxi belching out black fumes as it drove past. They contribute something like 20% of PM10 emissions uh, for the relatively small number of cars that they are. So we were very keen to see an improvement in their technology, and this thing is fantastic. All it produces is a drip of water out of the back. So I think it's going to make a massive contribution, albeit it's going to take a couple of years before we start to see any number of them on the streets. Uh, the fuel cell is an electrochemical device, so what you're doing is you're, you're taking the hydrogen in, you're mixing it with uh, oxygen in the air, you are stripping out the, the, the right chemical ions, and then you are creating direct current that feeds from the fuel cell, regulated via a DC-DC, uh, so it matches the voltage that is required to, to either go into the electric drive or into the battery system. So this is the high voltage system. Uh, and that fits up, and there's a, uh, just beside the, uh, the taxi driver, there's the, the sort of the armrest and uh, area that uh, he has beside him. Then you've got the, the battery system, and that's in these trays you can see here. So uh, th these are shaped in order to fit within the, uh, the chassis. So that brings you, you've got uh, electric generation, storage, uh, and then this is how you apply the energy to the rear wheels in this particular vehicle. So the, this is all of the controller, uh, the electric motor drive, and uh, the only modification that has been made to the vehicle is in, in order to allow uh, this UQM motor uh, to run to the rear wheels. We have to decarbonise road transport by 80% by 2050 from 1990 levels. So this type of project where we get four companies together working together as a team to promote and develop new technology for new areas is, is critical to the UK in the future. So the power unit in this cab is completely new, but they've stayed with the old, familiar chassis. Why? They're very traditional, but also, you know, Londoners are traditional, and the taxi is an icon of the city. Tourists, I see lots of tourists taking photographs of it, people want to travel in it. Actually, as a vehicle, it's very good for transporting passengers. I gather it's not so good for the driver, because they're a bit cramped up at the front, but nevertheless. But also, it's quite a roomy vehicle, which provides quite a bit of space to fit in all the gubbins that's required for the hybrid technology. And there hasn't had to be much remodeling of the chassis of this thing to get the stuff in. So from that point of view, it's a very usable vehicle and a very recognizable one. One of the key things, though, taxi drivers are going to have to realize is that they, above all, are the people exposed to their own fumes. They spend their entire lives in central London. So if I were a taxi driver who wanted to live a few years longer than my, you know, three score years and ten, I would be seriously thinking about getting one of these things.